Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and thank you so much for joining yet another episode on the Life Signatures Radio. In the middle of a series, we're talking about the factors that critically determine or crucially determine the process of your own birth, self-birthing process. The first birth, you had no idea what was taking place. You are a passive participator of the whole thing, even though you are the center of focus in there, but in the mind, in your own mind, nothing ever occurred that, hey, this is a critical moment. I am being born. But there's another critical moment that is going to come in your life, one day or another, that you need to oversee intentionally the process of realizing who you really are, the self-birthing process. The larger context we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is the road less traveled is the one that leads us to identifying who we really are and also helping us to grow. So today, let us look at one more factor that crucially determines the process of our self-birth. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. your life for a minute is there a moment in time that you can look back and say that was a defining moment of my life that was the day that i came face to face with the man in the mirror and i knew who he was what he wants what he's gonna be what he is really up to in this life the self-birthing process and we say let me do a recap for you the self-birthing process is determined by some factors number one the desire i don't know about you but sometimes actually this self-birthing process you know what i've come to realize i've come to realize that it's not an event and i also have come to realize it's not even a process i've come to realize that it's a lifetime it's a daily thing that we keep evolving, we keep knowing. I've had T.D. Jake saying, I'm yet evolving, and I really agree with him. Evolution is not necessarily some theory that Charles Darwin came up with. And, and uh, see, on a daily basis, even as we are here on the face of the earth, we keep evolving. And sometimes doing the evol- evolution, going through the evolution, is triggered by a desire. That's what we discussed. There's got to be a desire to it. If there is no desire to evolve or to know who you really are or to give birth to yourself, it's not going to happen. It's not something that happens automatically. It's not something that happens arbitrarily. It happens from desire. You really want to, you, you must want it to happen. The first thing. Secondly, you've got to notice that it is your own. It is not done in a classroom. You are unique. We are all unique. All of us, 8 billion people on the face of the earth, we are unique. Each and every one of us. And therefore, the self-birthing process, just like intricate and intimate it is to be given birth to privately, you know, it doesn't happen when everybody is watching and, you know, it's and all that stuff. Same thing with this self-birthing process. It's not done in a classroom. Classroom can catalyze, but that's not where it happens. It happens when you are alone. A man facing himself, a woman facing herself. They're going through the self-birthing process. We've got to analyze that we are unique in, in our own ways. And if we are going to do the opposite and just think that 
you know being in a group and uh, doing things together it's going to bring this to pass we are we're lying to ourselves the third thing is that we've got to realize that this self birthing process culminates into answering a calling this is not a religious podcast okay maybe it is spiritual but it's not a religious thing when we talk about a calling it's a human thing okay you've got to realize that there is a calling upon my life maybe a calling to open businesses a calling to minister to the children a calling to start my own podcast there's a calling upon your life probably to go into politics there's a calling upon your life probably to delve deeper into sciences and maybe some of you it's to go into entertainment and into these instruments and and all that stuff maybe a calling upon your life is to make a multinational firm there is a calling upon the life of everyone it is small it is big it is medium it doesn't matter we cannot weigh people's callings against each other but every calling in or and of itself is a mighty thing it's a big thing so the self bathing process has to go to revolve around that that purpose is not something we are attracted to it's rather something that we are bathed to that's the thing that is about that it's about a self bath so it's, it's a calling but then again number 4 we've got to realize that it's a passion you must want it it must be ensuing from inside of you it must be something that you're really passionate about you're given to it's something, something that you can do for free something that you can you can die for i don't want you to say you can kill for but something you can die for i mean something that you're born to you, you're so connected and so attached to it So if you're going through a self battling process there's got to be this element that hey wait a minute I am passionate about this you cannot pay me enough for this then you know that that's a, a, something that is close to your self bath Today let us talk about one more thing and I think we might need to do this again the number 5 thing this is very important this number 5 factor that determines the process of yourself but it is your ability your natural spiritual whatever ability ability able to do naturally predisposed to maybe it comes in terms of potential potential doesn't mean it's a finished product potential has to be worked on and so on but this the ability the predisposed ability to do it determines yourself but i have kept saying in these episodes over and over again that it's a tragedy to find an artist working as a bank teller for the rest of their lives now let me say that very carefully because life is not a straight line it's not linear it is very possible to find an artist working as a bank teller But let me say this if it is for a season I'm okay with that Some of us we are forced into circumstances and situations in our lives because we're going through a season and one way or another we've got to survive that season so that later on we can thrive in whom we were birthed to were born to we can continue the self birthing process Therefore our ability sometimes can be wasted in seasons where we are misaligned but the tragedy is when we end up there for the rest of our lives we're doing that which we were not called to do our natural abilities forgotten ignored you see the most interesting thing in life is that it is possible for you it is possible for you to go through this life all the way to 90 100 years of age it is possible for you to do that without necessarily leaning into your abilities leaning into your strengths the natural strengths some of you have a voice that you can be able to speak and a radio voice but it's a strength that you've not used to you you mind you've not used all these years maybe you are 45 47 and you've got that voice that has not never been put into consideration into use of course you're doing other things and so on and it's it's fine but what happens to that particular voice 
Did you go through? If you went through a, a self bathing process, you realize that one of those things that has got to be put to use is your voice. Some of you, it is your hands gifted at crafting stuff. But you're in the corporate world right now. The ability to use your hands is dormant, dying, wasted, because probably you did not go through a self-bathing process. You see, again, just the fact that you are gifted and you are talented and you have this ability does not necessarily mean that what you're supposed to do is going to be, you know, easy. It's going to be a flow. It can be arduous. It can be uncomfortable. There could be easier things to do. Listen to this. There could be easier things to do that are not necessarily coming from your gifts and your talents and your abilities. And those are things probably you are skilled in, things that you are trained in and things that, you know, um, most, uh, offer more certainty and, and so on and so forth. But sometimes when it comes to leaning, in, leaning into your ability, there's a process of sharpening that ability, bringing excellence to that ability, bringing in unique ability to it and bringing in mastery to it, bringing in genius to it. And that takes time. That takes uncomfort, uncomfortable situations. It takes discomfort for that to be chiseled out. Okay? And therefore, we'd rather not. So the self bathing process that you and I go through, we've got to realize one thing, that it has to speak into these abilities that we have. If you've been given an ability to write, I don't know why you are not writing. And I've complained to very many people. They, you see the way they make their posts on social media? They have a gift of writing. But they don't want to explore. They don't want to go there. It's uncomfortable. It's a road less traveled. The road most traveled is a road where there is no discomfort. And so if you've identified that you're going to go through a self bathing process, please remember that the aspects one aspect one factor of this is your abilities your strength and this strength you must put them on the road less traveled the sweating the chiseling out the sorting it out the the consistent exertion of the self the working on you the working on your ability the turning it around turning that gift around and uh, finding that gift aflame and the continuing application of the same the rising up even when you're falling uh, the going after it again one month down the line when you tried and you are embarrassed the the continual chiseling away of this gift and this talent uh, you are refining it you're giving birth to yourself it is not easy it is a road less traveled so tomorrow we're going to bring to a close this mini-series within the larger series of a self button process. And today, tomorrow, we want to talk about something else that is going to close this. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.